the Magic Inn, and I'm going to show you a little classic of magic that a lot of magicians try to do, but I'm going to do it a little differently just to fool you even more. The trick is called Professor's Nightmare. However, most magicians do it a little differently than I do. What other magicians do is they take the three ropes and they put them in their hands and they stretch them a little bit and they become the same length. With me, I like to do it very quickly so you're not aware of it. When you're not watching, you take a look. I have three equal lengths of rope with hardly any movement at all. And that's the way I do it. Of course, this is an optical illusion. Let me start over again. We have a small, medium, and a long rope. Now, other magicians, what they do is they like to uh, place the pieces in one hand and stretch the ropes. So let's try that method. We have here the, we have the small rope here, we have the long rope and the medium sized rope. And what we're going to do is grab the ends of the rope, one, two, and three, and stretch it visibly. Right before your eyes we go like that. And you take a look, it does look like there's one, there's two, there's three equal lengths of rope. But once again, that is what they call an optical illusion. It never happened. So I have a method where you have the three ropes in your hand. You have the small, we have the uh, medium, and uh, we have the, the long rope all in the hand. And what I'm going to do is a little bit differently. I'm going to take one of the ropes and place it up there and just stretch it a little bit like that. And you take a look now. We have actually three equal lengths of rope, one, two, and three. Very different. Now while there we have while we have three ropes that are the same length, we can do another classic of magic, and that is um, convert the ropes into loops of rope or rings of rope. And we can do the classic linking rings routine using a piece of rope. So first we have to tie them into three equal lengths and three ropes with, out of, made out of rings. And uh, rings made out of rope, we go like this. And we have a one, two, and three. And the object is to link them when you're not watching. You take a look. There's two that are linked. And you take a look at this one here. We're going to go up here, up here, and across like that. And it looks like they're linked in three different places. Look at that. And of course, just as quickly, we have three ropes. One will be over here. One will be over here. One will be over here. And it looks like they came apart. Now that probably confused you because there's so many objects that you're watching. So uh, let me make it a little easier for you. I'm going to take this rope and put it in my pocket. That'll leave us with two ropes and we'll do a trick with two ropes instead of three. Um, you know, that is not always the best thing to do because I like working with three, ro three ropes. So let's go back. We have two equal lengths of rope. Let's make them into three equal lengths of rope once again. One, two, and three. And as a matter of fact, let's go back to the very beginning. We have here a small, a medium, and a long. And that's the illusion called Dances with Ropes by Magic Ian. Thanks for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you a little trick most magicians do, but I do a little differently. So let me show you what I have here. I have three ropes, a red, white, and blue. And what I'm going to do is take them and place them into my hands thusly. One, two, three, and we're going to make believe that there are three equal lengths of rope. One, two, and three ropes. Don't they look like they're the same? Now, a lot of magicians do this trick, and they keep going. I have no idea what they do after this. I kind of keep it the way it is. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you something that you've probably seen before, but never quite this way. Now, you might have seen magicians who have three ropes that are the different sizes. And what they do is they take the small rope, and they have the medium-sized one, and they have the long one. And what they do is they stretch the ropes just like that. And they look like they're uh, just about the same length. And that's been done for many, many years. But... Uh, I'm going to do it a little differently. Watch carefully now. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have three ropes. And uh, most magicians, they like to put those ends up in the hand just like I did. But I'm not going to. If you watch the ropes carefully, you see they have a small, medium, and long. And instantly, you'll see they are the same length. 
without putting those ends in my hands. Well, that's the way it should be. If you're a magician, you can take three objects and make them the same length instantly. And just as quickly, you can take them and make them back to normal again. But that is if we were all magicians, we could do that. But we're not. Let me show you once, once again a little different way to do this. And that is uh, a lot of people like to stretch the ropes. Can I have somebody up from the audience, somebody who's not too bright? Yes, sir, right over there. And uh, excellent. Turn around so they can see what a fool you're going to make of yourself. Excellent. And I have here a piece of rope. And I have a small right there. I have the medium here. And I have the long rope. And what I want you to do is grab this end, this end, and this end, and hold them in your hand there. Good. And I have the other end. And I want you to stretch. Pull, 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 just like that. You see, you did the stretching. Not too bad. Don't go away. And here we have, we do have one, we have two, we have three ropes that are indeed the same length. Now, um, you know why this fools people? Let me ask you that question. Do you know why this fools people? No. You don't know why? Well, how many ropes do I have in my hand? Three. Three. No, there's only two ropes and they're the equal lengths. Only two that are equal. You'll notice that. The third one magically went to my pocket right here. I tell you what, why don't you take that rope, take, take one end and tie it onto the other. Take one end and tie it onto the other, just like this, right over left, left over right, just like that. Okay, you got it? Good. Try that one again. All right, you got it? Pardon me one second. We have one circle of rope, another circle of rope, and we have a third circle of rope, and here we... Wait a minute, how did you do that? I don't understand that. You tied the knot, did you not? Yeah. Not? Yes, you did. Well, how, how, how come this, they're looped together like that? Now, a moment ago, we had one over here. We, wait a minute. I don't understand this at all. Hmm. Now, a moment ago, we had one over here. We had one over here, and we had one over here. Somehow you tied the knots, and they went together. I have no idea. Well, I'll tell you, you know what the problem is? We have too many ropes. Too many ropes, you see. Let me take this one and put it in my pocket over here. And that'll leave us with it. You take that, please. Untie that knot, would you? I'll untie this one here. Excellent. You got it? You sure? Okay. Now, a moment ago, didn't we have three ropes? Yeah. I had one in my pocket and one here and one here. Or Yeah, we need three ropes to do this trick. Watch, Kevin. We have one, two that are equal, three that are equal. Three equal lengths of rope. You see there's one. There are two. There are three ropes that are even, just like that. Of course, we started out, what did we start out with? We had a short, a medium, and a long, did we not? Yes, we did. Thank you for watching. Yeah, you can look at those ropes, by the way. You can check them out. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good. Yeah. <laughs>